Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric and today I watched WWE NXT episode 526, which was the first episode live on USA. Well, the first half was live on USA. Both halves were live, but the first half was on USA. The other half was on the WWE Network broadcast on September 18th, 2019. Um, man, this was aw- this was awesome. This I I had high expectations. It's like, oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. We're gonna have some kill some of these killer matches. The two three matches that they uh, advertised, I was really looking forward to. But then they had so many more matches in addition to that. Um, okay, in the first hour, which was the hour that was on USA, it's only these first two weeks, so it's gonna be like this. Um, but uh, they only had two matches, but they were two killer matches. I liked or at, no 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 I'm wrong I'm wrong there were three matches but the the one in the middle was very very short I'll talk about that in a second um but then the second half of the show was like two hours worth of stuff in one hour it, it felt like it could have been two whole other hours of the show like it would be a complete two-hour episode uh, but it was all jammed into just one hour it was awesome so um the first match Oh, okay. Somebody on Twitter or on Reddit posted a really, really great uh, kind of summary of the of the show tonight. The first hour is w- why you should watch NXT, and then the second hour was why you should watch NXT UK and Two Hundred Five Live, and that just sums it up perfectly. Like they 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 put most of their best feet forward here there were some guys that weren't even on the show like johnny gargano didn't even appear on this whole in, in on this whole night of stuff uh he was mentioned but uh he did not actually appear i don't think he he was uh like in the background or anything towards the end we saw like everybody going at it big old brawl at the very end of the show they were mixed mixed feelings about that online but i i enjoyed it I thought it was pretty cool um uh, but anyway I thought that was a great explanation or like summary of the whole night is that, well, first of all, it was just freaking awesome. And then, and that, and that the first hour is uh, why you should watch NXT. Second hour was why you should watch 205 Live and NXT UK. Um, just to repeat that again. All right. So we opened up with the fatal four way uh, match to determine who will challenge Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. Um, Oh, man, there's there's just so much awesome stuff in this whole match. Um, but uh, I'm just going to skip right to, uh, right to the end. Candice LeRae pins Mia Yim after hitting her with a Poison Rana, uh, followed by a Springboard Moonsault, and that was pretty great. So Candice will challenge Shayna next. Will that be on the weekly show? I kind of imagine, I, I kind of imagine it will um as opposed to waiting all the way until the end towards the end of november um have that happen right away and then uh i don't think that she'll be successful at least not on this first attempt um but i could totally see um either though her and eo against Shayna baszler in a triple threat or um Rhea getting involved and maybe she has the the, the championship match in um chicago but we'll we'll see what happens um i i'm really excited for this uh shana comes out and they they, they're face to face there and yeah this is an awesome match to open the first live show uh yes i have jessica carr as the referee for this match so that is really awesome for the women and uh it was just an awesome match anyway and uh yeah i really liked it uh then we had uh, Sean Maluda versus uh, Cameron Grimes. What did I call? I I call him like Waldorf or something. Not Waldorf, but like uh, <laughs> I don't even remember the stupid name that I made up because I can't remember his real name. Not his, you know what I mean. Um, so I thought, oh, cool, Sean Maluda here. He's 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 getting some exposure. Here in the first live episode, and then he is squashed like a bug. Uh, the match is maybe like ten seconds. Cameron Grimes hit him with his flying knee, takes him down. Um, and then we have 
uh, Roderick Strong versus Velveteen Dream. And uh, another great match. Not as exciting as a takeover match, the triple threat with Pete Dunne in there. But, you know, still some good stuff in there. Uh, the Undisputed Era come out. The referee uh, gets uh, taken out of action for a little bit, so they get the upper hand. Dream overcomes that at first, but uh, Undisputed Era gets in there again. And uh, I <laughs> liked um, uh, when he had him in a submission hold, I think it was Morrow who said he, he, that he has a grip like a pistachio nut, which I'm not. Now that I think I'm not sure what that really means. Like the the nut has a good grip, or you need a good grip to shell a pistachio nut. I'm I'm not sure, but I liked that phrase a lot. Um, so Roderick Strong wins by uh, having hit two end of heartaches. Um, uh, one that that Dream kicked out of when the referee uh, came came around, and then the other after the uh, Undisputed Era distracted again. So we end the first hour with Undisputed Era draped in gold, and this kicks off our NXT Live era, also known as the Undisputed Era. era, era. <laughs> this is the Undisputed Era. Um, then the next match, which was on uh, WWE Network, so you can watch that right away. Um, and so they update it with the two hour version to watch the whole thing. Um, the first hour they did like summarize what had just happened. Um, so that was, that was nice for if you're switching over. Um, then we had Pete Dunn versus Arturo Ruas, Ruas. Um, Pete Dunn won that match, uh, via some hand stuff. Arturo tapped out with his hand that wasn't being, um, uh, being manipulated, uh, then we had Zaya, uh, Zaya Lee versus Aaliyah, um, and Zaya won that match. I don't remember. Honestly, I was I was playing Borderlands while I was watching this, so I wasn't paying the most a- attention uh, for everything after the opening match of the whole night. So I I apologize for that. But there was I did catch a lot of really good stuff, and I enjoy it. I enjoyed listening to the commentary. Just seeing you know, what was going on. Uh, then we had Denzel DeJournay, who was to go against somebody, but that didn't happen because Imperium appears. They attack Denzel. Uh, just the three members who aren't Walter appeared there. And then once they had cleared the the ring, they were like the uh, they 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 were like the uh, the what is the when you send somebody out first? They they were like the scout team. Then Walter arrives and Kushida comes out and he's like, what are you doing? This is my time. Uh, also referring to him being a time traveler, but like he was supposed to have a match next and he's annoyed that, oh, I think, I think Kushida was supposed to fight Denzel. That, that makes even more sense. Um, and so Kushida has challenged Walter and that's going to be a, that's, that's going to be a crazy match. I don't even I can't even imagine what that's going to be like, but I want to see it. I am really excited to see that whenever it happens. Um, then we had Oni Lorcan versus Leo Rush. Leo is back. How awesome is that? I was I, like the, the the graphic came up on the screen. I was like, uh, uh, oh, wait, 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 what? Leo, Leo Rush, Leo Rush is back and he's in a contenders match against Oni Lorcan to determine who will face uh, Drew Gulak for the Cruiserweight Championship next. And this is like, they're just slipping the 205 Live guys right into here, uh, getting the Cruiserweight Championship on the show. That's so awesome all, as well. Um, Oni Lorcan pulling that double duty, going from, I, uh, well, I guess Tennessee isn't that far away from from Florida. Um, but... He, he, he had fought the night before, so I, I'd say he was at a disadvantage anyway. But then again, Leo Rush hasn't had a match in like six months, so he's also at somewhat of a disadvantage. But man, this is so awesome to see bo- both of them in action. Uh, I think this is the first time they fought each other, maybe. But uh, Leo wins, and so he will challenge at some point Drew Gulak for the Cruiserweight Championship. Will that be on 205 Live? Will that be on NXT Live? I do. I don't even know. They uh, were not very clear about that. We, that it, it's interesting. Uh, the whole show opened with uh, Triple H 
saying some stuff and they're like, oh, let me show you. And he opens the curtain and there's the full sale setup and all that. But um, yeah, we didn't have any appearances by William Regal this week. I'm sure we'll get more. There, There is very, very little backstage stuff in this entire episode. It was all in ring. I think they. it seems like they really want to make a statement with that. Um, but I could see integrating more backstage stuff going forward um, to, to help fill out and uh, pace, pace the episodes a little bit more. <coughs> <coughs> or keep, keep the episodes on, on pace more, I think. I don't know. But they did. They did such a fantastic job uh, as it is. I'm not saying that they need to improve that or anything because it was, it was pretty pretty solid there are less technical issues than some of the pre-taped episodes that come out like the one where it just like skipped like three minutes uh like during a killian dane match i think or an a sanity match and i thought that was just how it was because it's it's uh sanity is weird and uh no it was a, it was a technical error and it skipped like a solid three minutes or something but anyway uh yeah i no william regal in this episode um so i can see him uh appearing later on you know as he does he doesn't really appear that often anyway but um and maybe i wasn't paying attention maybe there were some backstage stuff and maybe he did appear but i don't know then we had our main event which is killian dane versus matt riddle in a street fight and uh, we had them spill out into the out, outdoors. So we have this guy just fighting people with, his, with just in bare feet. Uh, so this is definitely in Florida. And um, or, or just anywhere where people are being weird. But uh, when they go out there, Imperium gets involved. The Street Profits gets involved. The Forgotten Sons, like everybody, starts piling on, beating up each other. Pete Dunn is in, in there. Uh, yeah, they're just all going at it. it. Spills back into the ring, and then the episode ends with this just this mass chaos. the The match does not come to a conclusion. There's no winner to the match. So maybe we'll start out next week, and they're still in the ring. Everybody's still fighting. That could be. <laughs> That would be pretty funny. They've been they've been fighting all week. What are they doing? Mamma mia. Oh, I haven't slept a wink. Um, okay. So that is <laughs> That could have rhymed. I don't know. Wink and week. Yeah, that that does kind of kind of rhyme. Um it's a it's a half rhyme, I think, is what you'd call that. Um, so yeah, that's it. I freaking love this episode. And if they keep, I mean, to, to expect every week to be as bonkers as this one have so many matches in it. Uh, like it was seven 30. So the, the show started at six o'clock in, in mountain time by seven 30. I was like, how is there, st- how are, how are we not like, it's only seven 30. This is crazy. Um, it, it was just flying by. I thought for sure we were like right there at the end. The main event was only going to be like five minutes or something. But I looked at the clock. There's still a half hour to go. Now, this episode did end uh, like eight minutes early or something like that. But it also had a lot fewer commercials than the, the first hour did. So I think they still had the same amount of content that they were planning on having. But it ended early because they didn't have the full commercial breaks that they would have uh, needed to have usually. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's I think that's I think that's 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 it for this episode. I loved it. I'm going to watch live next week. Um, But the week after that, I will have to watch it um, uh, on DVR because I will be at aw that week in washington dc uh to be there live for that first show so i I am really excited for that if uh if they really bring their 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 game as much as nxt did with this first episode and i'm uh, the 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 nxt episode that week is going to be bonkers for sure um next week there are a couple of matches that were announced like um uh, Dakota Kai is returning next week. I'm super excited for that. And um, 
there's a, a Keith Lee versus Dominic Dejkovic. That's also going to be next week, and that is going to be bonkers. So I, I am so excited, and uh, how good Raw and SmackDown and 205 Live were this week. This is like such an amazing time to be a wrestling fan. Like there's, and I, I'm so far, I'm, I'm three episodes behind on NXT UK now. Plus, I had already skipped like five episodes to get caught up before uh, Takeover, uh, Takeover, um, Cardiff. Uh, there's so much to watch, and I'm not even touching any NJT, NJPW, uh, uh, any TNA, or sorry, Impact, uh, no Ring of Honor. Like, I'm not watching any of that. I've just been watching WWE stuff and uh, and then the, the AEW pay-per-views. That's it. And it's still, like, so much, but it's so much awesome stuff. I'm really excited. It's It's going to be great. Um, and it already is great. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about this first episode of NXT Live uh, by tweeting me at TIW Podcast. Go to TIWpodcast.com for more reviews. If you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site, please share some links with your friends. Subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you like to listen. Stay safe out there in all the infinite multiverses, and I'll see you next time here on TIW Podcast. Bye.